Hello and welcome to this video on lenses. This is going to be quite a long video, it's quite a complicated topic. If this is your first time watching it, what I suggest you do is watch it through once and then watch it through again by taking notes the second time round. This is the first type of lens we're going to be talking about. This is a converging lens. Now I'm going to draw the rays on here. I have my stylus and my ruler. It isn't going to be perfect because this is an iPad and a stylus and a ruler, but in the exam you will be marked down if you do not use a pencil and a ruler. So your rays are going to come in like this. Once they hit the lens, they are going to converge downwards towards the arrow that I've marked. There we go, converge downwards to the arrow that I've marked. And this is our focal point. This down here is our focal length. And all rays that come in are going to do exactly the same thing. So this one coming in, when it hits the lens, it is going to move up towards the focal point. No matter where the rays come in, they are all going to meet at the same place, the focal point. So this is also a converging lens. You'll see that this bit up here and this bit down here, the arrows, this indicates it's a converging lens without actually drawing the bulging lens. So this is a diverging lens. Again, I'm going to use my ruler and my stylus to draw, oops, to draw my lines on. And what happens when it hits the lens is the ray moves away. And then what you need to do is track it backwards, and this is generally done with a dash line to the point here. And this point is our focus, and this down here is our focal length. It doesn't matter where your ray comes in, when it hits the diverging lens, it will move away. And what you need to do in the exam is track it back with a dashed line back to the focal point. In a diverging lens, the focal point always appears to be in front of the lens because this is where the image appears to come from. This is how diverging lenses are can also be drawn in an exam with arrows pointing inwards. Okay, so how do we draw images using a converging lens? There are a few rules you need to follow and I'll summarise, summarise these for you in a second. But what you need to do is take your ruler and your pencil and draw from the top of the image through the middle of the lens. From the top of the image, straight across, it then gets refracted through the focal point. And I do apologise for the wobbliness of my lines. You have to um, understand I'm using a ruler and a stylus for this. And then we need to do the same from the bottom of the image. So from the bottom of the image, through the middle of the lens, from the bottom of the image, straight across, and then up through the focal points. And this shows you where the top and bottom of your images are going to be. So this here is the ears, so Primrose's ears are going to be down here. Here are her feet, so in our drawing, her feet would be down here. And you'll notice that my image is now inverted. Okay, let me just show you that again. I've abandoned the ruler because I'm sorry, it was annoying. We need to go from our top of the image, through the middle of the lens, from the top of the image, straight across, and then through the focal point. From the bottom of the image, through the middle of the lens, from the bottom of the image, straight across, then up through the focal point. This down here 
is going to be the top of the image and this is the bottom of the image. It is an inverted image. So you've seen me draw some converging lens diagrams. These are the rules that you need to follow whenever you draw diagrams using converging lenses. From the top of the object, you need to draw a line through the middle of the lens. From the top of the object, you need to draw a line straight across to the lens. This is parallel to the axis, which then gets refracted, then through the focus points. You need to repeat this, but then from the bottom. So from the bottom of the object, through the middle of the lens, from the bottom of the object straight across to the lens and then through the focus point. Images that are produced with a converging lens are always real images from a converging lens that run to a screen such as an eye, these are going to be upside down or if you're looking through a mirror or a magnifying lens these are going to be virtual images which are the right way up. As with everything in lenses there are two ways you can approach an exam question. You can either learn all of the different combinations that could come up or you can understand how to draw them. The understanding is a lot more complicated and will take you longer but in the exam you're going to be more confident that you'll know. The just learning what's going to happen is not necessarily quicker and easier but if you're not planning on continuing science for A level or after that it might be a bit of a time saver for you. So I'm going to show you how to draw several images. Down here, I've put what actually happens. So I'm going to start with drawing an image with a converging lens beyond 2f. And for these, I've cheated a little bit because the feet are on the axis, so we don't have to worry about what happens with those. So following the rules, I draw a line from the top of Primrose's head through the middle of the lens. I draw a line with a ruler and a pencil in your exam across and then down through the focus. So this is where Primrose is going to end up. This is going to be her head. These are going to be her feet. And you'll notice that this image is going to be upside down and smaller than the original image. So now I've moved Primrose along a bit, she is at 2f, 2f is just twice the focal length. And again, I'm just going to draw where the image will end up. So we're drawing from the top of Primrose's head, through the middle of the lens, from the top, straight across, and down through the focus point. This time the image is still upside down, it is the same size and it's going to be a real image. Primrose has moved along again. So again, exactly the same rules apply. We go from the top of Primrose through the middle of the lens. Not very good drawing there. And down. And then across and through the focal point. This time the image is real, upside down and if I draw my lines correctly, would be larger than the original image. So now Primrose is in between the lens and the focal point. This is a slightly different situation. This is something you'd get maybe with a magnifying glass, but exactly the same rules apply. So we go from the top of Primrose's head down through the middle of the lens, and we go across, and then we go down through the focal points. It's very messy. I do apologise for that. But what you need to do is then track the image back and you will end up with an image which is virtual. So it will be over, be over this side of the image, the right way up and much larger than actual. I've done another example of this in my next video which is all about practicing drawing lens diagrams. So this is the diverging lens. It has a similar but ever so slightly different set of rules, but they follow the same principle. So we need to draw from the top of our image and then up and away. From the top of our image, through the middle of the lens. From the bottom of our image, across and then away. From the, from the bottom of our image, through the middle of the lens. We then need to track these lines backwards until they meet the corresponding lines. 
So I've tracked the uh, line from the top until it meets the other line from the top and I've tracked the line from the bottom until it meets the other line from the bottom. This is going to give us a very small picture of Primrose. But she will be the right way up. Diverging lenses are a bit easier than converging lenses because they always produce images that are virtual, the right way up and smaller than the original image. These are the rules you need to follow when you're drawing images with a diverging lens. You need to draw a line from the top through the middle of the lens, from the top straight across and then moving up and away. You need to track this black line back to the principal focus. You need to repeat this but coming from the bottom. So from the bottom through the middle, from the bottom straight across, up and away, and then track the line back to the focus. This is where your image will be. The only way to really know if you understand ray, ray diagrams is to practice, practice, practice. I'm going to stop this video here because I think it's been quite a lot of information. But the next video I will go through lots and lots of exam questions where you can practice, practice, practice the ray diagrams.